Imagine going to the ends of the earth to find your missing loved one, only to discover a chilling nightmare. Welcome to the world of Ethan Winters. Our tale begins with this ordinary man thrust into extraordinary circumstances. His wife, Mia, has disappeared without a trace, leading him on a desperate search that brings him to the desolate back roads of Dulvey, Louisiana. In this seemingly abandoned corner of the world, Ethan stumbles upon the Baker Estate, an eerie mansion that stands tall amidst overgrown greenery and an unsettling silence. The mansion, shrouded in an aura of mystery and dread, becomes his only lead. It's a place where time seems to have stopped, where every creaking door and flickering light echoes with a haunting emptiness that sends chills down the spine. Ethan, fueled by a mix of fear and determination, ventures into the mansion. His footsteps echo in the silence as he traverses through dust-choked hallways and rooms untouched by human life for years. The mansion, a relic of better times, now stands as a grim testament to a story yet untold, a story that Ethan is about to uncover. Every room, every corner, every shadow could hold the key to finding Mia, but also unknown terrors lurking in the depths of the estate. Ethan steps further into the mansion, blissfully unaware of the unspeakable horrors that await him. Meet the Bakers, Jack, Marguerite and Lucas, a family that redefines the term hostile hosts. The Bakers, once a normal welcoming family, have been twisted into something far more sinister. Unbeknownst to Ethan, his desperate search for Mia has led him straight into the heart of their horrifying domain. The Bakers are no longer the friendly southern folk they once were. Infected by a mysterious fungus, the family exhibits disturbingly resilient and regenerative abilities that render them seemingly indestructible. Each family member manifests their infection differently, turning them into nightmarish caricatures of their former selves. Jack, the patriarch, possesses superhuman strength and an unnerving persistence. Marguerite, the matriarch, controls insects and can contort her body in horrifying ways. And Lucas, their son, displays a sadistic creativity, turning the estate into a deadly funhouse. Ethan's first encounters with the Bakers are nothing short of terrifying. Jack's relentless pursuit through the decrepit halls of the mansion, Marguerite's eerie presence in the old house, and Lucas's deadly games all contribute to a chilling atmosphere of dread. The Baker Estate, once a home, is now a labyrinth of horror, with every corner hiding a new terror. It's not just the Bakers that Ethan must contend with. The mansion itself is a character in its own right, its decaying walls and dimly lit corridors echoing with the family's madness. Secret passageways, hidden traps, and disturbing remnants of the Baker's life before their infection all add layers to the unfolding nightmare. Trapped within the estate, Ethan must now navigate the Baker's madness and uncover the dark secrets that lie within. Every creaking floorboard, every shadow, every locked door holds a clue to the mystery of the Baker's transformation. As Ethan delves deeper into the heart of the mansion, he realizes that this is more than just a search for Mia. It's a fight for survival against a family that has been consumed by a darkness beyond comprehension. Just when Ethan thinks things couldn't get worse, he finds Mia alive but forever changed. The reunion is bittersweet, tainted by the uncanny transformation Mia has undergone. Her demeanor, once familiar and comforting, now harbors an eerie, unsettling quality. Ethan's relief at finding his wife is quickly overshadowed by the unsettling truth of her condition. As they navigate the labyrinth of the Baker estate, the couple is forced to confront the reality of Mia's dark past. It becomes painfully clear that Mia is no mere victim in this twisted saga. She was a part of it, an unwilling participant in a sinister experiment conducted by a shadowy organization known as The Connections. The revelation sends shockwaves through Ethan. His wife, the woman he had been desperately searching for, was entwined in this horror from the beginning. She was part of an experiment that unleashed the hellish nightmare now unfolding around them. Mia's involvement with the Connections is a grim reminder of the insidious forces at play. Ethan realizes that the fight for survival is more than just escaping the Baker's madness. It's about unraveling the truth behind the nightmare, the truth about Mia and the monstrous force that has ensnared them all. With Mia's shocking revelation, the couple's fight for survival takes a sinister turn. The haunting spectre of Mia's past promises to cast a long, dark shadow over their desperate bid for freedom. As if the Bakers weren't enough, 
Ethan must now face a new terror, the molded. These abominations are not just the stuff of nightmares. They are the living, breathing result of the insidious fungus that has taken hold of the Baker family. Spawned in the damp, dark recesses of the Baker estate, the molded are grotesque creatures that seem to be made from the very walls of the house itself. These creatures are not mindless, though. They possess a predatory intelligence that makes them a formidable threat to anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. And as Ethan soon discovers, they are as relentless as they are horrifying. Driven by an insatiable hunger, the molded hunt Ethan through the estate, their twisted forms contorting through the narrow hallways, their clawed hands scraping against the rotting wood. But where do these creatures come from? The answer lies in the same fungus that has infected the bakers. This parasitic organism doesn't just take over its host body, it also has the ability to create these monstrous beings. The molded are, in essence, the physical manifestation of the fungus's reproductive process. With these grotesque creatures lurking in every shadow, Ethan's nightmare only grows deeper. The molded are not just another obstacle in his path, they are a chilling reminder of the infection's power and the horrific fate that awaits him should he fail to escape the Baker estate. Behind every horror, there's a source. For the Bakers, it's the seemingly innocent Eveline. As Ethan delves deeper into the sinister secrets of the Baker estate, he stumbles upon the chilling truth about Eveline. She may appear as a harmless girl, but Eveline is far from it. She's a bio-organic weapon, a creation birthed from the dark ambitions of the connections. A product of science twisted by inhumanity, Evelyn is imbued with psychic abilities of such magnitude that she can manipulate reality. She can project her thoughts into the minds of others, driving them to madness. It's this power that has transformed the Baker family into the nightmarish figures they have become. The Bakers, once an ordinary family leading a peaceful life, fell victim to Evelyn's influence when she was abandoned at their doorstep. Her ability to control minds turned them into monstrous entities, each one a puppet dancing on Evelyn's strings. The estate, once a home, became a labyrinth of horrors, with each room echoing Evelyn's sinister laughter. But Evelyn's abilities are not just confined to mental manipulation. She's the source of the molded, the grotesque creatures that roam the estate. These abominations are extensions of Evelyn's will, a manifestation of the fungal infection she carries within her. Ethan realizes that the key to his escape is defeating Evelyn, but the path to her is fraught with unimaginable terror. Confronting Evelyn isn't just about survival, it's about saving Mia, and perhaps redeeming the Bakers from their tragic fate. Ethan's pursuit of Eveline leads him to the Salt Mines, a place of darkness where the final battle awaits. The Salt Mines, a labyrinth of the unknown, serve as the backdrop for the climax of our story. Here, the chilling echoes of the past meld with the harrowing silence of the present, creating an atmosphere drenched in fear and anticipation. As Ethan ventures deeper, he is met with the full force of Evelyn's monstrous creations, each one more grotesque and deadly than the last. These confrontations, each a test of his resolve, push Ethan to his limits, demonstrating the true horror that the bioorganic weapon Eveline has become. In the heart of the salt mines, the final showdown ensues. Ethan, armed with nothing but his courage and determination, faces Evelyn in a struggle for survival. The battle is intense, a dance with death that tests Ethan's willpower and resilience. Throughout this ordeal, the tragic fate of the Baker family is revealed. Once a seemingly normal family, they fell victim to Evelyn's insidious manipulation, transforming them into monstrous beings. As the dust settles, Ethan is left to face the aftermath of his harrowing journey. The echoes of the battle still linger, a haunting reminder of the horrors endured. But it's the silence that's truly deafening, a silence that signifies the end of the nightmare and the beginning of a long journey towards healing. Every nightmare has an end. For Ethan, it comes with a cost. He confronts Evelyn's true form in a battle that transcends reality. Choices made in these final moments shape not only his fate, but also Mia's. Will he succumb to the terror or emerge victorious, breaking the chains of this monstrous affliction? This climactic conclusion tests the limits of love, courage, and human resilience. And so ends Ethan's journey, a testament to love, courage, and the human will to survive in the face of absolute horror.